Once upon a time, there was a mysterious man wearing a hood by a big lake. He carried a strange weapon on his shoulder, and his face was hidden by a mask. He watched closely as a flying machine, called a drone, crashed into the lake. Without wasting a moment, he hurried over to it. As the man approached, the drone released shiny strings into the water. These strings quickly spread out, forming intricate patterns. Soon, they took the shape of a person named Ezra. As Ezra came to life, the drone filled his mind with memories. He remembered meeting and marrying Lynn, having a daughter named Kylie, and even glimpses of aliens invading Earth. Suddenly, Ezra woke up and found himself underwater, unaware he was in a lake. He struggled to stay afloat and swam towards the shore while the drone watched. Confused, Ezra tried to escape, but the drone shot a dart into his neck to check his body. After examining him, the drone confirmed Ezra's identity. In the vast desert, our main character spots the remains of an alien spaceship in tall buildings. It dawns on him that running away won't help. Soon, a man and a woman emerge from the lake, just like he did. Looking at his reflection in the water, the man is surprised by his appearance. Meanwhile, the drone hovers around the three puzzled humans and shoots another dart at the man's neck. His name is revealed to be Abram, and they all introduce themselves. Fina, the woman, asks how they ended up there, but none of them remembers. Ezra shows them the spaceship ruins, and Fina identifies it as a Karik spaceship, similar to the ones that attacked Earth. While discussing what might have happened, they realize each of them has a different timeline for the alien invasion. Adding to the mystery, Abram claims to be 67 years old, but looks much younger. Their conversation is cut short by the drone, revealing the harsh truth. They are currently on Earth, 400 years after the Karik, an alien empire, invaded and wiped out the entire human population from the planet. Their hearts heavy with the realization of their loss, the trio discovers that everyone they once cherished is gone. However, they learn that their bodies have been reconstructed and their genes altered to adapt to the current time. Unaware of a mysterious figure watching them closely, they continue questioning the drone. The truth unfolds. They have been revived with the help of the Sparks, a group of biological weavers who craft humans using elements from their surroundings. The drone offers hope, revealing the settlement where other reborn humans reside. With a chance to reunite with their loved ones, they gather supplies and capture the Sparks in a container, eager to follow the drone. During their journey, flashbacks from Ezra's life during the invasion surface. He and his wife struggle to navigate through Washington without online assistance. Buying a map, Ezra vows to protect his family as they embark on a perilous journey. Despite Abram's encouragement, Fina remains tight-lipped about her past life, keeping her secrets to herself. As they arrive at a location marked by towering metal rings, they realize they're not alone. The hooded stranger follows closely, armed and ready. Filled with youthful enthusiasm, Abram rushes toward the metal rings, leaving the others behind. Gasping for breath, he discovers strange symbols etched onto the rings and impulsively touches one, receiving a powerful shock. Though shaken, he shares the vivid images he experienced upon contact. Suddenly, the drone is destroyed by a bullet and Abram is struck by a dart, collapsing to the ground. The mysterious stranger, armed with a pistol, reveals himself as their hunter. Through Ezra's clever trickery, they capture the stranger, unveiling him as Jax, a skin rider with a luminous parasite on his neck, whom he calls a companion. Jax remains elusive about the symbols on the ring, but expresses his desire for the sparks. As Ezra becomes engrossed with a symbol on the ring, the stranger seizes the opportunity, knocking him down and snatching his weapon. However, Fina intervenes, aiming her own pistol at him and demanding he surrender. The stranger underestimates her, but Fina surprises him by loading the weapon and pointing it at him with determination. They manage to restrain him, but before they can depart, the skin rider offers Ezra a revelation. He can lead him to his brother. In a flashback, we glimpse Ezra rescuing his younger brother Silas amidst the chaos of the Karik spaceship attacks. In the present, the trio continues toward the settlement, leaving Jax bound behind. Unbeknownst to them, skin riders communicate through their parasites. Soon, three other skin riders find and free Jax. In a startling twist, one of them turns out to be Silas, who now knows his brother is alive. Meanwhile, the three humans seek refuge in a cave, unaware of the unfolding events. Later that night, Abram's fever spikes dangerously from his wound. With no better options, they bring him to a small puddle and release the sparks. To their amazement, Fina wakes up to find Abram healthy and fully healed the next morning. Luckily, the cave they slept in has a shortcut tunnel through the hills, shortening their journey. During a conversation between Fina and Ezra, she hints at a less than honorable past, 
They press on toward a jungle when suddenly the skin riders locate them and give chase. Ezra stays behind to distract them while the others head for the settlement. To his shock, Silas ambushes Ezra with the intent of converting him into a skin rider. Meanwhile, at the settlement, Fina and Abram breach a heavily guarded door, and a drone emerges, taking out two pursuing skin riders. It then swoops in to rescue Ezra from Silas. Thanks to the protective barrier surrounding the settlement, the skin riders cannot approach, ensuring the safety of the humans for the time being. Once safely within the settlement, they realize that things aren't as perfect as they had hoped. The place seems somewhat deserted, and Ezra discovers a bracelet adorned with the same symbol he saw on the large metal ring earlier. In a flashback, we witness Ezra, Silas, Lynn, and their daughter Kylie arriving at their parents' house after fleeing from the Karik spaceships. However, the cabin is empty except for a box containing a mysterious snail shell-like object marked with the same symbol found on the bracelet and metal ring. The episode concludes as the drone reveals 134 graves within the settlement's compound. The second episode opens with a flashback showing the two brothers, Ezra and Silas, witnessing the devastation of Washington during the alien attack. Upon returning to their cabin, Ezra informs Lynn of his intention to search for his parents. With communication systems down, Lynn insists that Silas accompany Ezra, unwilling to let him go alone. However, tensions rise between Ezra and Silas, with Ezra viewing his brother as someone unable to fend for himself. This long-standing tension becomes apparent. Ezra, realizing the lack of living survivors in the settlement, takes matters into his own hands, banging on a heavy metal door with a rod. The yellow drone guides them into the bunkers and discloses that it has been there for a year, arriving just after the previous human settlers succumbed to a fatal infectious disease. Shockingly, the trio discovers they too are infected when Fina begins to bleed from her nose. The only hope is for the Sparks to create a vaccine, strengthening their immune systems. To achieve this, they must venture to a nearby lake, all while remaining vigilant for skin riders. Growing weaker by the minute, Fina stays behind as the two men, accompanied by the yellow drone, embark on the crucial mission to secure the necessary ingredients for the vaccines. Outside the settlement, a man named Duncan is pursued by skin riders and eventually captured. Silas notices that Duncan's companion doesn't respond to other skin riders' calls, and they realize his parasite is weak, not glowing. Curious about this, they bring Duncan, the deserter, back to their camp. As the skin riders return, they receive an alert about two humans leaving the settlement's protective barrier, heading north. Silas compels Duncan to lead the pursuit, a decision met with reluctance from Jax. Meanwhile, en route to the lake, Ezra and Abram question the yellow drone in an attempt to unravel who is responsible for bringing them back. However, the drone refuses to provide answers, indicating a mysterious figure controlling both the drones and the sparks. Flying high above to keep an eye out for skin riders, the drone leaves the human duo to continue their journey. A revelation surfaces. Ezra was a soldier before the invasion, while Abram worked as a psychiatric therapist. At last, they make it to the lake and let the sparks go into the water to create the medicines. Meanwhile, over at the settlement, Fina tries to fix the red drone and succeeds in opening it, but her strength fades fast as blood comes out of her nose and ears. Unable to focus any longer, she lies down. A little later, she wakes up to a blonde woman nearby. At first, she doesn't realize it's Lynn, Ezra's wife. Eventually, she figures out that it's just a holographic AI projection sent by the red drone to assist her. Later, as she's about to faint from the fever, the AI projection of Lynn asks the red drone to send another projection of someone close to Fina. In a surprising turn, a projection of Duncan appears, offering help. Meanwhile, by the lake's edge, Ezra discloses the startling revelation that one of the skin riders is none other than his own brother Silas. While Ezra holds on to hope that the sparks may cleanse Silas of the parasite's influence, Abram cautions him, suggesting that Silas may no longer regard Ezra as a brother due to his transformation. Their exchange is abruptly halted by the yellow drone, issuing a warning about approaching skin riders. The drone proposes a plan. They should follow a small scout drone that will guide them back to the settlement while it conceals the sparks deep beneath the water's surface. Ezra and Abram part ways with Abram accompanying the scout drone and Ezra preparing to confront Silas. Unaware of the parasite's communication abilities, Ezra ambushes Silas, only to find himself swiftly surrounded by Jax and his followers, who sees him as a hostage. In the ensuing scene, Ezra awakens in the Skin Rider's encampment, overseen by his own brother Silas. As Ezra listens to Silas speak, it becomes apparent that the Skin Riders adhere to a fervent belief system, 
viewing the parasite as a means to transcend the limitations of human intelligence. In a flashback, Ezra searches desperately for his parents when he stumbles upon a crashed alien ship nearby. Approaching it, he inadvertently inhales a pink vapor emanating from the wreckage, which partially blinds him. Fortunately, Silas discovers him leaning against a tree and guides him back to their cabin. In the present, Ezra implores his brother to accompany him so the sparks can heal him, expressing remorse for their past conflicts. As the parasite begins to doze off, Silas's human side signals for Ezra to flee. Without hesitation, Ezra makes his escape and reunites with Abram, returning to the lake. After gathering the vaccine, additional medicine, and seaweed for sustenance, they hurry back to the settlement. The episode concludes as Fina awakens in the settlement's living quarters, the vaccine gradually alleviating her fever. The third episode begins with Fina finding herself amidst a battlefield, where Karik battleships mercilessly attack the humans below. Spotting Duncan injured and seeking refuge behind a car, she calls out for assistance. As the scene shifts back to the settlement, Fina finds herself immersed in memories of past events. Meanwhile, the yellow drone urges Abram to explore the confines of the settlement. Eventually, they stumble upon a door sealed shut with scaffoldings, emitting a radiant white light. Encouraged by the drone, Abram is compelled to investigate what lies beyond. In a flashback, we catch a glimpse of Fina's history. Alongside her fiancé and business partner, Gregory Palmer, she orchestrated a fraudulent scheme that defrauded thousands of individuals. While Gregory fled, Fina faced a six-year sentence in Seattle prison. Upon her release, she seeks assistance from FBI Special Agent James Duncan to locate Gregory. However, Duncan remains unmoved by her attempts to make amends and declines to assist her. In the present day, Ezra shares with Fina a bracelet he discovered in the courtyard, bearing the same symbol they encountered at the rings. He recounts encountering the symbol at his parents' house during the invasion. Their conversation is abruptly interrupted by Abram, who impatiently beckons them to join him. In the following sequence, Abram disregards Ezra's caution and removes all the scaffoldings blocking the door he discovered earlier. Ignoring Ezra's warnings, he impulsively swings the door open, driven by a compelling intuition that it must be unlocked. Beyond the threshold, they encounter a colossal stone pillar named the Obelisk, which promptly establishes a connection with Abram. Meanwhile, in the Skin Rider encampment, Silas confines Duncan, their recent captive, to a cell. He informs Duncan of their intention to heal his companion and reassert control over him. Subsequently, Silas compels Duncan to engage in combat with Jax, the largest and most robust member of the Skin Rider community. To the astonishment of all observers, Duncan effortlessly outmatches Jax with his agile movements. This advantage stems from the presence of the parasite, which induces delays in transmitting messages from the brain to the body, granting humans an edge in combat. Silas proposes that the sole method to counteract this phenomenon is through a sophisticated brain surgery, necessitating the involvement of a drone. Back at the settlement, Abram begins receiving messages from the obelisk, conveyed through symbols appearing and disappearing on its surface. He discloses that whoever communicates through the obelisk desires them to retrieve a weapon buried to the east of the settlement, promising to resurrect more deceased humans in return. Initially opposed to the proposition, Ezra eventually relents upon Fina's assertion that more human allies are imperative for their survival. Thus, equipped with a bow and arrows, Ezra accompanies the yellow drone on a mission to locate the weapon. Along the journey, Ezra voices his suspicion that the drone intentionally led Abram to the sealed door. However, the drone evades the question, offering vague responses about its origins and the spark's creators. In a flashback scene, Duncan agrees to assist Fina in apprehending Gregory Palmer, and they commence collaborating. Leveraging her expertise in cybersecurity, Fina traces Gregory's whereabouts to Singapore and informs the FBI. Meanwhile, the yellow drone guides Ezra to the precise location where the weapon lies buried. Unbeknownst to them, a spy from the Skin Rider group watches Ezra. This spy signals the others about what's happening. As Ezra digs for the weapon, the drone shares that there's a strong tool underneath meant to defeat Skin Riders. Ezra is surprised and hesitates, worried that using the weapon might harm his brother too. The drone convinces him that the only way to remove the parasite from the human body is by eliminating both the parasite and its host. With no other choice, Ezra retrieves the weapon. At the Skin Rider camp, Jax and some others set out to capture Ezra and the drone for their brain experiment. Meanwhile, Silas makes Duncan drink water from the springs, hoping it will heal Duncan's injured friend. 
Back at the settlement, Fina talks more with Lynn's hologram, realizing Lynn is Ezra's wife. While chatting about their lives, they manage to fix the red drone. Later, Fina expresses her wish to bring Duncan back, not knowing he has become a skin rider. Clearly upset, she wants to say sorry for what happened in the past. In the following scene, we find Ezra facing a sudden warning from the drone about the approaching skin riders. They flee, but the skin riders quickly ambush them. Outnumbered, Ezra hands over the weapon to the skin riders, who are unaware of its power. One of the skin riders touches it and instantly falls lifeless. Seizing the opportunity, Ezra overpowers the others and escapes back to the settlement with some help from the drone. Inside the settlement, Ezra remains wary of the obelisk, while Abram appears completely enchanted by it. The obelisk tries to manipulate Ezra by showing him an AI hologram of his wife and suggesting that it could bring her and their daughter back. The third episode concludes, and we return to the flashback scene from the beginning of the episode. Fina cries for help as Duncan lies injured. Suddenly, the red drone descends from a blinding light, injects her with a dart, and scans her brain for all her memories. 